there have been 851 episodes of Doctor Who broadcast to date. Our mission? For every single one, say something nice. Hello dear viewers and welcome back to another episode of Say Something Nice. I do apologise for wearing the same shirt two days running. Ugh. Obviously I am in need of some energy, a bit of a pick-me-up, so it's time to jump back 31 years in time to The Savages Part 4. Episode 4. I should say Episode 4 because they were called Episodes. The Savages is another one of those stories which is pretty much missing. We have the soundtrack, of course, we have telly snaps, we have a few off-air clips, so literally captured by a fan pointing a camera at their screen, but it's not one that a lot of people know about as a result of that. And actually, it's really, really a good story. It does have low ratings here, Doctor Who was losing popularity and that was part of the reason that William Hartnell doesn't have too many more stories to go, you know, his health also factored into it. But The Savages, it's the first script by Ian Stewart Black who would go on to write uh, The Macra Terror and of course The War Machines which is immediately after this story, he was a powerhouse writer. And something I really love about this episode is Frederick Yeager's performances, Jano. Now, of course, we can't see the performance, we can only hear it, but what is amazing about it is, first of all, earlier in the story, he mimics William Hartnell really well because he's absorbed some of the Doctor's life essence, but here he starts to return more to his original self. And what I love is he is a villain who gets redemption. And that was something that Doctor Who hadn't really done before. The villain in Doctor Who stories in the Hartnell era usually gets their comeuppance or they are forced back beneath the heroes, if you like, such as in the case of the Zabi and the Monoids. But here, Jano gets to admit the error of his ways, work towards restitution, but maintain his position as a leader within his community. Stephen takes over the community here, he gets a really good leaving scene, but I just love the maturity of this story in looking at someone who has behaved in a villainous and exploitative way, and having him learn from the Doctor in a very personal way, it would have been, I think, a temptation to have him sacrifice himself. But rather than that, he actually has to deal with the consequences of his actions and rebuilding his society along fairer lines, but under someone else's guidance. He is taken down a peg. Pretty much, he's got to fix the mess he created and he relishes and welcomes that chance. And that's something really nice about The Savages Episode 4. I got it right that time. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.